Dracar Noir, the men's fragrance from Guy La Roche Paris. Feel the power. Now we go to Vinko Bogataz, the Yugoslavian, the youngster. His inexperience, he fell on his first jump. A lot of speed in that track. And look, look, out! look at him go! Oh, oh. oh baby. What a terrible fall. His name is Vinko Bogatai. And little did this Yugoslavian ski flyer know then that he would become one of the most recognizable figures in American television. This man who dared to challenge nature with that ski flight lost the battle in what became known as the ultimate agony of defeat. Hello, I'm Craig T. Nelson, the coach. And welcome to this ABC Sports Home video dedicated solely to the agony of defeat. Do you remember the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles? Mary Decker does as she experienced the real pain and agony of defeat. Advantage over the rest of the pack. Zola Bud has the lead when they cross the line. This time around, there will be three laps to go. The Here's barefoot oh, by no. falls down. Mary Decker falls down in the infield. It so was Mary Zola Decker's Bud's run. inexperience. He cut in on Mary Decker. Mary stepped on her once and stepped on her again. Not only will we have the agony of defeat to show you, but also the agony of the head. <laughs> Fans were saying, stop, stop, but he kept right on going and got through the last one. Ah, oh, well, well, see, that sure gave me a headache just watching it, but if you want to see a real body ache, check this out. The agony of the entire body. It's a good, strong, powerful run. Oh, God, heavens! Oh! Comes the first of his release moves, a straddle Varun and over the top of the bar. No! There's a reverse pack. So we may not be so far out of range as we thought. Oh, oh big, big break. Among the best in the world. Watch how aggressive he is on these release moves. Oh! So here it comes. Oh! There's a big tap for a huge... Oh, no. no! Oh! Gee! Oh! Here comes his release. Oh! Oh! I can't believe it! He can't either. Kipling once said, East is East and West is West. Whatever the twain shall meet. Well, ABC Sports found the oriental world of self-defense where parents everywhere would say, Hey kids, don't try this at home. Watch the recoil, but he really lets him have it. That thing's got to weigh about 10 pounds. <laughs> That's no kidding. This country was founded. Little did the cowboys and Indians, or even Kevin Costner, know that bulls would disappear from the prairies and reappear on ABC Sports.
Looks like he's going to make his move now. Oops, he's getting far enough, far enough up, and those boys are in trouble. Oh, oh, Yarborough right out of the racetrack. The challenge for second place up on turn two. We've got a wreck. Look at that. Wow. What a crash, Keith. I don't think I've ever seen one this bad. The wall good and hard, and uh, the car turned over seven, eight times, and uh, threw me about halfway out of the car and knocked me out. It's the only time I've ever been knocked out in my life. to watch this race because they want to get in it, but they can't. And even if they try, they're not crazy like I am. They're sick. They're definitely sick. Just like I think anybody that enters it is sick. Fortunately for the drivers, the cars suffered more than they did. In fact, everyone involved here lived to tell the story of their agony of defeat. But how strange are those people? Almost as strange as the next group who raced motorcycles or a man named Evil who outraces death on one. Let me submit for you a group as demented as those who ride in the demolition derby. The fellows along the front row, and as a result, this happened. Four bikes. It is only a matter of luck that this Schultz crash of last year did not produce a serious injury. For Darrell, it was a cheap but important lesson. Winning can sometimes be a matter of survival. Hello, Sergei Tarabenko goes off the side of the track, comes back onto the track. Start from Austria. Oh, my gosh. Even NASA tracked this flight of evil Knievel. Stay with the bird, stay with the bird. It looks like you're going to go into the canyon. You had a premature shoot. You have a good shoot on you. Premature shoot. Well, at least the capsule landed safely. Monkey business and rocket ships aside, Evil took a more conventional mode of transport to merry old England and climbed back on his motorcycle once again. He had to clear, he estimated, 130 feet to hit on the downside of the ramp. As you see, he did not. He hit the 13th bus. It acted as a springboard, hurling him into the air, and at this point, probably traveling at a speed of some 80 miles per hour, Evil had no chance for any kind of a recovery to protect himself in any way. Ironically, his bike seemed to pursue him as he slid across the grass and out onto the track. And then the bike came to rest, still running, and running away on top of Evil Knievel. Let me get off the ramp. So you please help me walk off the ramp. Frank, take me off. I got you, buddy. Whatever you want. You got it. Frank, get the stretcher over there. ABC's Frank Gifford was there to help a courageous Evil Knievel to an ambulance. I've got to tell you that you are the last people in the world 
people will ever see me jump because I will never, ever, ever jump again. Evil did jump again. For me, I prefer safer sports. In fact, snow skiing is one of my favorite hobbies. I even got to take some home movies, and here's a few of my favorite moments. There's a clip. Mm. God. I got it. I got it. Well, one foot there. Look at it. Look. I did it on the head. Don't hit your head. Each man gets two jumps. Both count. He's off a little early. Seesawing through the air. As you can see, he's in a little bit of trouble. Whoa. And, of course, there goes his style points. When you fell the first time. And Rudy's off early again. Same old problem. He's jumping way too soon. Oh. And down he goes again. Second fall of the afternoon. And who watches way early. Oh. Now you can see he's back oh, for God. all he's worth. Oh, boy. You talk about lucky. Well, there go his style points, too. And he really, he really takes off. Oh! Uh-oh. Sitting well. Coming to the end. There he goes. Good take. Whoa! Oh! What a horrible crash for Akimoto. lost it completely on the side hill and his ski has come off. His ski has come off and that is a tough time to do it at that kind of a ski. What a fall. Oh, right through the fence is Erwin Stricker. Comes into the finish here. He's on for Gobbler of Australia. Two minutes, 19 seconds, the first one is. That's the end of the this is the one that's been causing the trouble. He's off. Well, there sledding can be fun. Jetting. There goes his sled. There he goes. He's off on the hay. He left the way down. There. Oh, oh, he's, he's over. Okay. He's a member of the club. And he's way up high. His legs over. And he's, he's gone. gone. Another one going off. This must be very tricky. Then into Shuttlecock, which has always been notoriously difficult. Ah. He's out, Jim. He's all over the place. The wagon's bouncing around. Look at it there. You may get high like this. Oh, look out. Oh, six foot five of Malcolm and Innocent. That is dangerous. He threw the Oh, he crashed. And they can't get out. There she goes. That's quad range riding that. The agony of defeat. An appropriate way to lead to our next sport. Watch the feet carefully. And kids, don't try this in your bathtubs. It looks like speed may be the enemy of hurling. Scott got in both. More than 5,000 people watching as Judy Shear, the hometown girl, and they both go down. Well, how would the famed ABC announcers fare at this water sport? Even distinguished Emmy Award winning Jim McKay would wet his feet in pursuit of journalistic excellence. Ten years later, a still young and rather spirited Jim McKay really tried it again. And he set the standards for all of us here at ABC Sports. Most recently, Bob Beatty and Bob Buecher teamed up, determined to give it the old college try, just as all those daring ABC announcers had done down through the years. It's gone a long way, haven't it? 
So it's just that simple. That's the way you do it. Nothing to it. Give me a power saw. I'll get rid of that log in a minute. High places can be dangerous, but diving is a sport of beauty and grace. And sometimes. A flying one and a half. Look out! Oh, my God. George, are you all right? Yep. You okay, George? Yep. A hundred feet. Coming just as fast as he can. Right about here, he seemed to lose control and hit the ground very, very hard. Oh, he couldn't hold it. Ah. Oh, God heavens! Well, we experience the agony of defeat of the head and of the body. There is perhaps one more agony, more humiliating than those. It is the agony of the butt. He's out. And now only two men alive. Roger Wood, who has already cleared this distance, and Richard Whitmark, who's down to his last try. demonstration of yeah, internal yeah, power. Yeah, Focusing. Yeah. All of his pressure right there on the ice and he goes through the... He was the premier pugilistic pontificator. In this corner, representing ABC Sports, Howard Cosell. What a fight! I'll talk to me about professional... Oh! The right! A sudden turn in punch! The right punch! Saria flush in the face! Down he went! There's the right! There it was! One sharp right! And again started scoring at will. And only the ropes kept Gomez up. Right there, Padilla may have made a mistake. He may have waited too long. Remember how Jack himself said he was held back in the ring by the press? Oh! A direct, straight, savage right! And what you said earlier, you should never get mad in karate. Right. Oh, she took another shot. But she's getting mad now. She's losing all of she's losing all of her style now. She's just drawing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Foreman is in trouble. Lyle caught him with a good left. Now George. Now! Now George struck back! Now! Now George fought back! With a magnificent right! But Norton is already rubbery legged and hurt. And Foreman is. Oh! The Ali's trainer right next to me is saying it. You may hear him. Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! Down goes Ellis! Down goes Ellis! He is beaten! Ellis standing there. Oh! A tremendous left hook! Lynch ready to go! Oh! Look at those. Look at that hand speed. All those unanswered blows. Hurts is ready 
ready to go. And indeed, he goes through the ropes. Up, there you see it. One strong right and back when Finch. And now Leonard's opening up, and there it is. The quick right lead, and another chopping right, and another. And, the, and you see the wobbly legs, and down goes Finch. I wonder if Jim McKay ever covered this next event, the firefighters competition. Yeah, I never realized how important a good fire insurance policy could be until I saw the skills of these fine firefighters. Call the fire department, the house is on fire. the coach. I have lectured my players many times on just trying their best. In this video, we have had the opportunity to laugh at some of those attempts. See, this is where Jim McKay would probably say something nice about the act of trying. Instead, let's salute those who fell short of the finish line. As I told my players on many occasions, fellas, losing builds character. Unfortunately, we didn't need to have that much character. <laughs> So you do it. No 
off and put it. Give me a power saw, I can put it at log in a minute. It is not the critic who counts, nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by the dust and sweat and blood, who strive valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither defeat or victory.